Charlie Bonnick here with UCCS Athletics, here with head coach Dave Hadjik of your UCCS baseball team. Now, coach, last weekend, you guys were back at home, played Colorado Mesa, and ended up making that series a 2-2 series. And really, for Colorado Mesa, knowing they were the RMAC champions last year, what was the mindset going into those games? And, you know, what? how do you feel about that 2-2 split? You know, uh, we're very excited about the way the weekend went. Uh, obviously, Mesa's been a great team in our conference for a long time, and they had a great year last year, so we knew they were going to be tough. And it was a really good barometer to see where we're at uh, with this new program. You know, we've had some, some decent success so far early on, um, but now, okay, you're going to go up against the best team in the league that's proven themselves time and uh, year in and year out, and now how are we going to hold up? And I, th I thought our guys fought very well. Um, it was a really good series, and uh, it was was very pleased with the split. And for Colorado Mesa, those four game series, very close games, you know, a uh, couple plays got heated, but really a lot of composure for both teams. And going into that game, was that a factor just saying, you know, we might get down a little bit, but we, you know, have to hold our composure and keep these defensive stands because in those last two games, and especially that last game on the last day, it was a defensive minded game. You know what, these guys have showed uh, all along here that they've got some some fight in them and, and some don't quit. And, uh, you know, that was really put to the test in that Mesa series. And, and like we said, they're a tough team. Uh, we knew it was going to be a great battle. And, uh, yeah, things got a little exciting there in, in a few different times. And our guys held up very well. Um, I felt like we stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with them and uh, and competed right to the end. And, and, yeah, to be able to pull that game out on Sunday with some great plays on defense, some great pitching um, in some really offensive conditions. You know, wind was blowing out. I don't know if you could tell on TV, but uh, it, it was a really offensive setup there. But our pitchers threw well. Um, Cicery obviously eight strong innings, and then our defense really picked him up behind him. So it was a it was a great way to finish out that series. Now heading into this weekend, you guys are on the road heading to Adams State. For Adams State, last weekend played Regis University. You guys seen them before. Ended up actually not winning the game against Regis. But for this weekend, what is really the mindset coming in? The mindset is the same as it was last weekend. These guys, just because they had a rough weekend last weekend, it doesn't mean they're not a good team. They beat a ranked team down in Texas. They beat Pueblo already this year. So they've shown that they're capable of, of, of being a very solid team. So we're not going to take them lightly. We're not going to go down there with any any sort of idea that uh, that we're better than we are right now we've we've really been tested um, for a couple weekends and held up well and now to go on the road um, down in uh, you know a potentially difficult environment to play for us it's going to be a really good test for us uh, to go down there overnight on a bus with something we haven't done yet uh, in our existence really you know not including the flying trip to California but uh, this is going to be a great test and and we really had a good week of practice this week so uh, we feel like we're very prepared and talking about this week in practice, really, what was the focus on this week? You know, like you said, a lot of great pitching from last weekend, but what was the focus for this weekend? The focus was stay in the moment and move, keep moving forward and keep improving. You know, it, it's very easy to have an emotional series like Mesa and then uh, kind of ride that wave a little bit, but it was very important that we sent the message right away that uh, that series is over with and now it's time to focus on, on what's ahead and, and continue to get better in every area of the game. And coach, right now you're or second in RMAC standings, right with Regis, same uh, same record, but just have the tiebreaker. And we always talk about competing, and that has always been your key word in the beginning. But right now, how do you feel about the team, and really, where is this team heading? I feel very happy with the way we've done so far, um, but it's it's very early. You know, mm -hmm. eight games in the conference is is really a small blip on the radar. Um, it's certainly nice to get off to a good start, uh, especially against a couple tough teams. But uh, you know, we're good, just going to stay in the moment, keep working hard in our practices during the week, and uh, and take each game, you know, the old, the old cliche, one day at a time. It's really important that that's exactly what these guys do. And coach, like you said, this is a little bit of a new territory for you just because you guys have traveled but took plane. This is the first actual bus trip you guys are taking. How are you guys preparing for that, really getting off that bus, knowing legs might be sore, a little fatigue just coming off of this week, but how are you guys really planning on dealing with that? Basically, you know, there's not really anything different. You know, we've got we've got some a good place to stay. We've got some food lined up. We've you know we're, we've been preaching hydration all week long. Just take good care of yourself. We're gonna have a good team meal tonight to kind of uh, energize ourselves. Hopefully for the for the next couple days. So um, it's really not a dramatic change. It's certainly, our practice plan is the same each week. And uh, and and really, it's just let's get on a bus and let's go play a game a couple hours away. 
And coach, last question. You know, there was a lot of notable names last week. And like you said, Collins history, Zach Hall had a two run home run, a couple other players. But this weekend, is there any player that, you know, the fans should be looking out for? No, not really. You know, this is a total total uh, group effort here. And, uh, you know, when when guys at the top of the lineup don't have success, we've got guys in the middle and the bottom that are picking them up and, and vice versa. And, you know, when, when a pitcher struggles, the next guy's coming in right behind him and picking him up. So, um, you know, we're not looking for any individuals to stand out this weekend. It's going to be a total team effort, and, and I feel very comfortable with, with where the guys are at with that. Well, there you have it. Head coach Dave Hadjik of your UCCS baseball team going to Adams State this weekend for a four-game series. Coach, good luck. Thanks, Charlie.